Part B. Find the values for k for which 3x minus 6 over x brackets x plus 6 equals k has real roots. So it's real solutions to this uh, uh, equation. So effectively we're finding the values of k such that the line y equals k, which is a horizontal line, uh, intersects our curve, which we can see we sketched earlier. So here obviously it's intersecting and presumably there's a small region here in the positive, uh, for positive values of k where it doesn't intersect and it starts intersecting again uh, as we move it further up. So we're finding all the values of k such that it satisfies it hits the curve. Uh, that's what it means uh, graphically. Um, let's do this uh, algebraically. So uh, part b, uh, we're solving 3x minus 6 over x brackets x plus 6 equals k. Our approach is fairly straightforward. We're going to uh, expand out this exp uh, expression, arrange it as a quadratic, so equals 0, and then make some uh, deduction about what it means to have real roots for that quadratic. So uh, 3x minus 6 equals k lots of x squared plus uh, 6k lots of x. Bring in the bottom up and times it by k. Uh, and then bring everything to uh, the right hand side and write the right hand side first. I've got k lots of x squared plus 6k minus 3 lots of x. And I put that in brackets because that's, I'm thinking of this as like uh, a and b in the, in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Uh, so, and bring in the minus 6 over to make plus 6 equals 0. Then for real roots, we discriminate between uh, quadratics that have real roots and those that don't by saying uh, for real roots, b squared minus 4ac uh, must be greater than 0. Note greater than 0 because it, they, uh, uh, sorry, greater than or equal to 0 because uh, it could be uh, real roots, distinct roots, or real uh, the same roots. So it could be, you have to account for the case where uh, it equals 0 also. So um, let's take the b uh, part. We've got uh, 6k minus 3 squared minus 4 lots of a, which is k, times c, which is 6, is greater than or equal to 0. Expand this out, and we get... 36k squared minus 36k, 18, two lots of, plus 9 minus 24k is greater than or equal to 0. Or 36k squared minus 60k plus 9 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, if we divide through by 3, uh, we're going to get 12k squared minus 20k plus 3 is greater than or equal to 0. Uh, if we factorise, um, well, uh, the 3, uh, hoping it factorises, the 3 can only be 3 and 1. Uh, it has to be negative to make, to make it uh, a positive. So it must be minus 1 minus 3 to make the 3. And then 12, well, we could have 6 and 2. And 6 and 2 is quite good because 6 times 3 gives the 18. So I'm going to put 6k there and 2k here. And then I'm just going to check it. It's easy to go backwards. So uh, it gives me 12k squared uh, minus 2k minus 18k, so minus 20k plus 3. All good. Greater than or equal to 0. Uh, we're solving uh, an inequality. So we get the two critical values first. Uh, from this, 6k uh, minus 1 equals 0 or 2k minus 3 equals 0, so k equals 1, 6, or k equals 3 over 2. But that's not solving inequality. If we do a little sketch just to get the actual solutions out, um, we've got the critical values are at 1, 6 and 1, and a half, 3 over 2. It's a positive um, k squared uh, going through plus 3, so let's just make sure we've got this all in agreement positive k squared, and we want to know when is this uh, uh, when is this greater than or equal to 0, when well, it's greater than or equal to 0 here, including uh, uh, 1, 6, and including 3 over 2, and here. So we start, let's say, sideburns, two regions, so our full solution is k is less than or equal to 1, 6, or k is greater than or equal to 3 over 2.